Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Snake Sable from Skid Row, and you are watching 80s Metal Recycle Bin. Wow, man, you pulled it off. I mean, you came a long way, dude. Jack Russell, um, lead vocalist, Jack Russell's Great White. <laughs> but uh, it was great, man. I remember that night, too, we were playing, and all of a sudden, uh, stopped the show, and Bobby Blotzer comes walking out, and he gives me my platinum album on stage. He goes, dude, you're platinum. I'm like, you know, the crowd just goes nuts. It was, it was just an amazing night. I'll never forget it. Oh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. It was devastating. Well, I mean, you know, like you said, one night you're at the forum, sold out, you know what I mean? And then you blink of an eye, you're sitting in some club with next to a chicken coop and there's a whole bus is full of flies, man. You're like spending the whole afternoon putting up fly tape and going, what happened? You know what I mean? And you hear these bands, Nirvana, you know what I mean? It's like, entertain me. It's like, dude, entertain you, entertain me. You know, I, I just, it was so dark and, and just just morose and, and depressing, the music, you know, where the, the 80s was like all about hedonism and fun and woohoo! You know, and it just got all serious and I don't know, it changed everything. You know, our fans were out having babies and you know, they, they didn't really have time to come out to shows or, you know, so it was a hard time to get through. It was really difficult emotionally, you know, mentally, it was really hard. But we pushed through, you know, um, and now there's somewhat of resurgence, only because the fans have, you know, grown past that their kids are grown up. And matter of fact, a lot of their kids show up at our show, so we've got like three generations of fans coming out, which is really cool, you know. You know, right after the Hooked album came out. It was like, you know, we just sold almost three million copies of Twice Shy, and everything on radio was just the same. Every band they knew sign sounded like generic. I'm like, God, this band sounds like that band, sounds like that band, sounds like that band. I mean, it was like a Xerox copy. You know, every one you make is less closer to the original. You know, it was all homogenized, and there was no really distinct voices. There was just a bunch of so-so singers with so-so songs, and the clogging up the airways and people just got sick of it, you know? I was sick of it. No, you know, they never um, ever told us, we never had anybody come down from the label and, and talk to us about music. It was understood that we did what we are going to do and they'd leave us alone, you know? which. In retrospect, you know, I, I, I wish that Alan Niven wouldn't have had so much of an influence on us at some points in time. I mean, we were really young and, and it was one of those situations where managers sometimes, they have a, a tendency to make you feel like, you know, if it wasn't for them, you'd never be anything. And, and you know, without them, your career is over. So you're like afraid, you know, to, to rise up and go, dude, this, I don't like that idea. I don't want to do this. I want to do something different. You're just like, okay, you know. And um, if it would have been my way, if I would have had it my way, I, the Hooked album would have been like, we all would have went into rehab and we wouldn't have, like call it rock and roll. You know what I mean? What is this big idea is to come out with the riff that sounds just like One Spit and Twice Shy. Even to the point where I go, sound familiar? I'm like, oh my God, you're kidding me, right? I mean, it's like, and um, you know, the record was a decent record, but when it came out, it just kind of like got to gold. It just kind of like wavered. And then I think we ended up about 750,000. And it was like, <laughs> over. Next record, Psycho City, awesome album, I thought. Um, a little long-winded, 
but still nonetheless a good record, 250,000, and I'm like, we're done, you know. No, I think it would really in the last five or six years, it's been building, I mean, and um, I don't know where it's gonna go from here, whether it's gonna continue to build or, you know, I mean, the, the only good thing is, is, is that, you know, the music that's coming out now is just processed garbage, you know, I mean, most, my, at least from my interpretation of it, you know, I just don't, uh, I don't get it, you know. The public has zero attention span, you know, and I mean, God, who ever thought there'd be a day where there was no record stores? I couldn't even, it'd be like, that's saying like, there's no moon, you know what I mean? It's like, what happened? But things have really changed a lot, you know. No, us splitting up? No, no, it was all very personal, um, mostly to do with my drug abuse, you know, and um, lack of, um, um, people couldn't rely on me. You know I mean, I was a mess, you know what I mean? And um, it got to the point they just were like, had it. And you know, um, it, it made me um, have to go and, and take measures because nobody would contact me. Nobody had the nuts to say, hey dude, you know, we don't want to play with you anymore. You know, they just didn't call you. It was like they ignored it and it would go away, you know. Well, I got to a point to where I had gotten my sobriety and, you know, I was like, got myself under control and, and um, <clears throat> I said, uh, you know, enough. This is it. And so I basically fired everybody. And then um, we ended up going to court and we end up settling on Jack Russell's Great White, Great White. So, you know, I wish him the best, you know, and um, I'm having a great time. I got a great band, you know, I love what I'm doing. And um, we're making some great new music and, and I, I haven't been happier. You know? Well, I mean, I've, I've fired enough people out of, out of Great White for the same reason. You know what I mean? If it was, if she was on the other foot, I would have fired me too. But at least I would have fired me. You know, that was the only thing I was really upset about, was that nobody, ju they just didn't talk to me. It was like, you know, people are your friends for 30 some years. You're like, wow, oh, man, that really hurts. You know, at least have the nuts to say, dude, we don't want to play with you anymore. Oh yeah, it's a blast, man. You play with people you've grown up with, you know? It's, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I enjoy the hell out of it. For Jack Russell's Great White, um, you know, I, I, who's to say? I mean, I'm just going to keep playing and having fun and making new music and, uh, you know, just do as long as God lets me. You know?